is this one I see? You're listening to the very best of Southern Gospel music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube, Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us. Here we are, folks, right here on the WOTG radio network and TV network. We're glad to be here tonight. And we've had some problems all week long, but uh, right now, well, I'm feeling better. I don't, Linda's not feeling too hot either, but we're glad to be here. We will go and play some great gospel music. And folks, we should be capturing nearly the whole world out there because we got a lot of great gospel music in here. And I'm going to save this a little bit because I'm going to, Brag on God a little bit. You know, we playing some of the best gospel music on the internet. You see, how you get that, Alan? Alan. Well, let me tell you, then I'll get back to you. Huh? Just a little bit. A little bit what? You said you are going to brag on God just a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to brag on God. We're going to brag on God a whole, whole lot. Let me tell you something. This is a fact, folks. There's no one else on the internet. There's no one else on Facebook that's playing any better gospel music than Alan Presley Promotions is. And I'm going to prove that to you. If they did, Facebook would mute them. That's how we know that there's nobody else playing any better because we got the better. You see, how you know? I said, I know I got it. We got the best gospel music anybody in the system. Because if we play them, Facebook mutes them. So that makes us all even, right? Amen. That makes all of us even. There's nobody else doing any better than Alan Presley's promotions and the WOTG radio network and TV. The only thing is, they can't, they can't uh, mute them. Our phone's ringing, but we can't get it right at the present. But we're going to have a good gospel music program. And let's get on with the program tonight. And here we go. Just, just hit the button, folks.
a little boy Back in the hills of home Times were hard Things were bad So many days we faced It seemed that there was no food in the house Oh, but I can still see my mama today She get down by bedside she, she start calling on Jesus She say these words right here the side of the road. It wasn't very big, but we had a roof over our head and a place to sleep. And one night in the midnight hour, one of my brothers woke up screaming, said he saw somebody standing at the foot of the bed. Well, that might just have been an angel of the Lord. Cause the Bible says the angels of the Lord and camp about those that love and serve Him. Can I get a witness? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something else right here. As the years went by and I became a little old, you see I drifted away from mother's love. I wanted to try the world and the things that it had to offer. But I couldn't find no peace for my weary soul. So I came back home. And one night down on my knees at an old-fashioned motor's bench, I met Jesus. Yes, I did. So let me say to you mothers, pray on for that that God has given to you. Great will be your reward one day. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. I'm a witness that somebody, somebody prayed. Great God. She prayed for me. Oh, she was sick. She was sick. She was sick. And I'd like to say I thank God that my mom prayed for me. And at an age nine years old, I went to an old revival meeting in my own community. And the preacher preached. I don't even know what he preached about. God would have done already speaking to my heart and my life. And I got up down the aisle that night, walked down that church aisle, and bowed and gave my heart to Jesus Christ. And God had done dealed with me a long time before that, even at age nine, that God wanted me to preach. And at age 15, I just couldn't take no more of it. I went and sat down and talked to my pastor. And I told him God had wanted me to preach. I told him I couldn't stand this pressure on me no more. Well, that was on a... Tuesday night, on a Wednesday night, my pastor had me in the pulpit preaching, and I preached all them years and still doing God's work in my old aged life. And I, and I thank God that somebody prayed for me, like my mom and my dad, that prayed for me. Then I thank God that God gave me a wife like Linda that I love very much, and she helps me a lot. 
and I praise God for her. I praise God for you. I praise God that you are on our program listening to us and that we can share the love of God. Me and her both has been real bad sick this week. We've been bad sick. It hurt us last night that we couldn't do the program, but we just wasn't able. Number one, we was wore out. We was tired. But we want to try to do our best for God what time we've got left. And that's what we're here for, for that one reason. And I'm going to let Linda say a few words, and then, then I got another prayer request I want to mention. Okay. We, we're thankful for everyone for praying for us. <clears throat> I went to the doctor Wednesday. I went to the doctor. I went to the doctor Wednesday, and uh, uh, they gave me some more medicine. Alan went yesterday. He didn't get no medicine. He got a shot. Go what? A shot. A shot. Shot. Oh. <laughs> and uh, so. I was supposed to call him in some medicine, but he didn't make it to the drugstore. I don't know what happened. But anyway, <clears throat> we went up to the hospital today and got tested for COVID. We won't hear from that until tomorrow night or Monday uh, to see if it's negative or positive. But uh, I sure don't want that junk down in my lungs. It's in my throat, and I, I just, you know, we keep coughing it up. But uh, anyway... Uh, so, uh, so I've got a special song I, uh, I'm going to play right now, Alan. You know, who, 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 uh, heals people? God does. God does. He touches people. So we're going to play Danny Funderburk right now saying, somebody touch me. And God does touch us and he does Heal us, as he always does. I'm going to say this, then we're going to listen to this song. Back years ago, when I was growing up, I guess a lot of you people out there, some of you young people might not heard about it, I had the croup real bad. One night I thought I was going to die. And I just ready to give up. And I said, God, either heal me, or take me out of it, God. I mean, I was, I couldn't hardly breathe. I couldn't get my breath. And I and I just thought it was hit. And I just prayed, God, get me out of it. Take me out of it. And you know what? God healed me. That next morning I got up, told my dad and told my mother. I said, I'll never have that croup again. I'm right now going on nearly 76 years old. And to this very day, I've never, ever had that croup again. And if there was a person in this life that I know that God put his hand on me to preach the gospel, pastor churches, and I've done that about all of my life. I know it was me. And I know God's stand is still on me. We got Danny Funderburg coming on. And he's going to sing this song. Let's take a listen. As he groped along the streets His hands dressed out for pennies Or for just right to me It's the story of the blind man Who met Jesus on his way With the master's touch The man looked up As the scoffers heard him say 
That crippled man The day he walks again And now the master He saw with pleasure He had labored not in vain Like the story of that crippled man I too was bound by sin But since my master came Oh, praise his name We want to tell you we are on television tonight, and most every night we are now. And uh, it's Ro- is that Road Cube TV, Linda? Yeah. And that's Road Cube TV, and we are on television every night. And we will have some copies coming up later of the TV program. And by the way, we're going to send that song out to a good long friend of ours, and we love him very much. It's Mr. Danny Funderburk, and we're going to send that song out to him. And, Danny, you're on television tonight. They're hearing you on television. And since you've been on the program, they're hearing you on TV. And uh, we appreciate the TV. And we've been doing that probably now about six months. So, folks, our program... You send it there on Facebook. But when you watch it on TV, it couldn't get no better unless they was in person. And I don't know if the sound would be any better even in person. You just wouldn't believe how it sounds. We got some older videos on our uh, page. You can even listen to them. But we glad for all these doors that God is open, and we're going to send that song out to Mr. Danny Funderburg. And, oh, yeah, we now got a prayer request. And you folks can be praying for it while we on the program. We got, I uh, see, uh, Chuck Bryan. He's the owner of WOTG Radio Network, and he's the owner of WOTG TV. He's got about 25 radio stations. The internet radio. 
And then he's got the TV, which we've on every night. And he's going to have some surgery done this Monday. So we need to pray for him. Pray that God keep his hand up on him. And we're going to get on with the program. And Linda, who we uh, got. And I got to watch my voice, too. I get carried away in here. Then I won't have no voice here in a little while. Who we got coming up? Who? Oh, the Dixie Melody Boys. Here they go. Take a listen to Ed O'Neill and the Dixie Melody Boys. We might even play the new song the Dixie Melody Boys sent me. It's a, the radio song. They about got a new crew that sings for them now because a lot of personnel changed around. Ed's not able to travel no more. So he's dropped off the road, still managing the Dixie Melty Boys. And we're going to take a listen to the Dixie Melty Boys right now. Here we go. Most every Sunday, down by the river, we gather one by one. Raise our hands and praise the Lord Singing our praises Up to the Father We all clap for joy Cause He took our sins away Long before there was the NFL on CBS Our Sunday afternoons were set aside for getting blessed it was Sunday, go to meet and land a dinner on the ground Rejoicing by the river until the sun went down Old saints would come from miles around to celebrate the sun And heavy-hearted sinners repent for all the things they've done Getting baptized in the Jordan, leaving all their sins behind they come up shouting hallelujah, heaven's on my side. Most every Sunday, down by that river, we gather one by one, raise our hands and praise the Lord, singing our praises up to the Father. We all clap for joy, cause it took our sins away. Won't be very long before we wave this world goodbye We'll wait out in that river till we reach the other side But till that getting up morning when we see the Master's face We'll keep our eyes upon the sky and run in the rain Most every Sunday down by that river we gather our hands and praise the Lord, singing our praises up to the Father. We all clap for joy, cause it took our sins away. Most every Sunday, down by that river, we gather one by one to raise our hands and praise the Lord. Up to the Father, we all clap for joy, cause He took our sins away. We all clap for joy, cause He took our sins away.
Nothing you do is right You rely on strength within yourself But he's pulling on every side Well, you know that he can defeat you When you try to stand on your own But with Jesus Christ beside you, friend You'll never have to stand alone Learning to depend on Jesus, relying less on you. For the Savior up in heaven, He knows just what to do. And when it seems you just can't take anymore, He has a blessing just for you. Just for
to be here tonight and uh, Heart Song Nashville Music Group will be on uh, on Facebook live Monday night at uh, 7pm Eastern Time. Tune us in and listen to their program this coming Monday night. And Linda, who's calling? Okay, hold on, me, folks. We got a, we got a special guest on the program, and we're gonna put him on the air, and let's see who it is. Hello, who we got out there? Well, I ain't, I ain't special, but I'll be your guest, crazy number two. <laughs> oh, this this is a coker man, huh? Well, that's crazy number one. You both say that. That's 
sitting here looking at myself on the monitor. I was looking at the, I'd see myself twice. I'm watching one, the TV program on the monitor. Can't hear it because I can't have two free sounds in here. But there's a big American flag flying in the background. And I'm in the middle of the flag announcing these singers. Well, you know, that's a good place to be in front of the behind the American flag playing gospel music. That's right. I'm right in the middle of that flying flag. Can you believe that I've learned to fly already, Dennis? Well, praise the Lord. He must be growing wings. <laughs> yeah, I got some wings now. <laughs> and, no, and, brother, and, I had a reason I'm calling in. I was, well, I've been watching you. I hear you, you are getting horsed up, and you've been sick last week or so. And You know, I'm going to tell you, the, the devil don't like me and you standing up for what is right. Right. And any time you stand up for what's right, the devil's out there trying to stop you. That's but it. guess what? You've been doing this for a while. You're going on 80 or something in that area, 70, and you're still hanging in there, and me and you both got programs now that God's blessing us with, and we're telling the word, we're telling the truth about the American flag, about our freedom. It's up in the air right now, but I still got trust, and that Trump's going to be in there. I, I just feel it in my heart that he's doing the right thing for fighting for our freedom and fighting for our elections. So he ain't going to lay down. Trump is a fighter. That's the reason we was in good shape before the Democrats and China and all this stuff started releasing this virus stuff, and they're still using it for him. Now, I'm getting, I'm getting a little excited here now because God said that if you step out on his word, the devil's out there to steal and destroy everything. But, but Adam, we're not going to let him. So greater is he that's in you and me and the rest of the real Christians, greater is he that's in us and he's in the world. Amen. He says that we, we, can, we can prosper. And uh, as the Vietnam said, I'll say again, we'll fight for our freedom. If, if Biden gets it, I'll, I'll, I don't know. I'm so sad right now that people have laid down their life for that flag. They've laid down their life for that freedom. And talking about a man that wants to go socialism or communism, that is a, the devil. So with, with the United States, which you got to with Thanksgiving, and when George Washington stepped on that Plymouth Rock, they got the Indians together in their first supper, as we call it. They praise God for being here, and, 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 and God has been in our Constitution from day one, and the devil's trying to take Jesus out of it. But let me tell you something. He's not going to do it. we got to stand up. Those that are truly saved, truly believe, need to stand up. I'm not talking about these false Christians go around on my back, but I'm a Christian. Get to church and shout, and on Monday, live like the devil. We need to get on solid rock, and uh, oh, I'll calm down now, uh, Alan, but I'm telling you, I, I'm going to get excited. That's all right. Uh, uh, Dennis, we, uh, yeah. I, I want to talk to uh, uh, Terry Farrell today, and he had that COVID. He said he was in the hospital four days, and he thought he was going to die. He said he had double pneumonia. Said he was real sick, but he's doing better now. And you know, uh, uh, thanks to the Lord, he's the only one that can heal us. Amen. Amen. And and, and he's the only one can heal this a disease we got. But Dennis, I don't. He's not going to voluntarily do it this time. The people, no, is, he, the people no. and the churches, and I'm going to put somebody else out. I know I get kicked around. I get smarted off that behind my back. They they won't come to you and talk to you. They go behind your back and put you down. You, well, you, you, you know that I, I emailed somebody today, and you know who I'm talking about. They got ministry on the end of their name. And I've been trying to contact him. He's been ignoring me. I know he's reading my message, and I wrote him today. I said, I'm doing what God, the Bible says, 
and I said, if you got an all against me or if i done something wrong and really you're not talking to me, let's get together and work it out. As of today, he read my last message, and he ain't responded yet. And I told him that if he's not going to do what God tells him to do and do it right, that quit singing and lay it down. Because I felt out, like the Bible said, like a disciple. I've reached out to this ministry guy, and I really, I said, I've heard things about you, and I just want to make it right with you and see if it's true. And see, I've done all I can do. So I told him, he's not going to live up to what the Bible says. Don't put that ministry behind your name and get up say, I love the Lord and thank for Jesus. Amen. Dennis, I, uh, I was going to say this, but you led me this way. I'm going to say it now. I never seen so many backbiters in this world that I've seen now. They don't have to have no excuse to go out and talk about you and criticize you behind your back. When the Bible plainly tells you you got all against your brother and sister, you go to them and sit down, and if you, if you get them back, you gain your brother. And, 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 you know, but we got so many backbiters out there, people that wants to talk, they want to criticize, and, they, and, and this is going on too. A lot of jealousy in the work of God, you know. People is jealous of one another. They don't want you doing gospel music. They don't want you shouting praises of God. They don't want you to preach in the word of God. But he can't do it as good as I can. That's what they say. It ain't the point who does the best. It's the point of what, if it comes from the heart, God's going to bless you. But these singers that get up and sing and got ministry behind their name, and this one, you, I ain't calling it, we'll call it his name, but I'm going to let you know that if we're not going to uh, sing and be example what we do, quit singing and quit preaching and lay it down. And I and, 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 and you can't. And, a lot, and, and like you just said, go to your brother. If, you, if that person don't come to me, and let's talk and just see what he's got against me. If anything, uh, he don't need to be singing, and he needs to be getting right with God. And uh, that's what the Bible says. A lot of people ain't living by this Bible. They, you know, they, they get what they want to and speak this word, that word, and if it agrees with them, they do that. But I take from Genesis to Revelation. If it says I need to do it, one of God's commandments is to is you got to all against your brothers. That's one. And it also, for him to know to do good and so to him it's a sin. So if you don't go to your brother and ask for forgiveness or work things out, that's the S-I-N, and the Bible says sin will not enter into the glory of God. Amen. Amen. And 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 the first thing they do, a lot of people does, they run out and start gospel. They try, what does that do? It turns God's work down. It got, turns God's system down. And it just turns everything out. And where'd that put that person? It well, looks I like, it, you it looks like he's a hypocrite. If you got something against me, come to me. Don't run your mouth out there. Come, if I hear some a rumors or rumors to prove it fact, but if you hear something about Dennis Coker, come to me and ask. Don't go out running your mouth and don't know nothing. And I get tired of somebody saying, well, he says, she says, they says. Well, what does Jesus say? <laughs> what does Jesus tell you to do? He says, go go to your brother. So if you got hear something about Dennis Coker, I'm telling you out here, in Allen Presley Promotions Radio Land, if you got something against Dennis Coker, please come to me. We'll talk it over, and if we get, we'll pray about it and get forgiveness. Shake hands and go on. But until we do it, the Bible said to do good, not him as a sin. So if you don't come to me, you're living in sin. Uh, uh, Dennis, backbiting, yeah. backbiting and gossip is just as much sin. It's lying, uh, killing someone, uh, uh, committing adultery, uh, uh, all these sins. There's no one greater sin than the other. They're all sin. But what you just said, Linda, all that's in the Bible. Backbiting. Yeah. Uh, rumors. Uh, that's, that's Bible-based. But what happened, Christians don't read their Bible, so they just do what they want to do. They think when they get up from the altar, uh, well, I'm saying now, I'll go out and talk about Dennis some more. I'll go out and talk about Alan some more. And, uh, uh, go back to the old way. No, if you didn't lay it at the altar, wherever your altar was, 
and you picked it up and took it back with you, you're no better off now than you was when you first came down. Amen. Amen. And Dennis, I'm going to say this, and I, will, I want you to do something else too, but I'm going to say this. You know what? A lot of people's tongue is long enough to reach from my bedroom in our and lick out Linda's dirty skillets. That's how long the people, a lot of people's tongues are. They long enough to reach from my bedroom yes. all the way out and lick out Linda's dirty skillets. Dennis, you're supposed to say life out loud. <laughs> he got quiet. He got quiet. No, I'm listening to you. I ain't want to interrupt something good. <laughs> well, no, you know, that, 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 that would help Linda, too, if they take them long tongues and lick her skillets out. Yeah, because they need cleaning well, right now. Uh, well, we're trying to help her out a little bit, too. Well, she won't hang me after the program. <laughs> well, I see where Thomas Lewis put in pray for Mickey Sellers. I think uh, is that who y'all talking about? Uh, no, we're talking about uh, Terry Farrell that sings with for him. Yeah. Trio and uh, David Burke and uh, David Jr. is both got COVID. Well. And it, it's a right. Yeah. But Dennis, it could be cured. But it's got to take one word to cure it. Repentance. They got, they got the people. Is, the God's people is got to repent. If they want this culture to stop, God just ain't going to volunteer it up and send a cure. He said, repent. He said, repent. And he wasn't talking to the sinners either. He's talking to the church. And you know, the church is supposed to be the living God. That's a, the church is the one that's true standing on the rock. Yeah. That's the real church. Right. Now, you got buildings out here, they have church in. But when somebody said this, what, uh, what's the number that you guys have Church of God? And said, Church of God said, yeah, they ain't but one Church of God, and that's God's church. Right. You better ready to go when he comes, or when you die. So one of two ways, you're going to Leave the third by dying, or when Jesus comes. But ain't for one church of God, he's coming out, and that's a real, real, real Christian that really repented, and it on the rock, it got mine made up. Right. You know, God's but probably... I, I call in, Al, you, you've been on my mind, uh, uh, you ain't got me started in, but I, I want to pray for you. I done prayed for you one time, and you're getting better, and the devil's coming back at you, and I felt led to ask Lynn, I said, can I call in and Pray for I said crazy number two. I'm not used to calling you that, but uh, God's got work you do, Alan. And uh, the only way you go get it done is like you, you're a talker. You got to have your throat and you and your mouth and vocal cords to, to do what you do. Or you know, Linda can talk, but uh, sometimes I don't hear you talk. But then, <laughs> if Linda's like my, my wife, you know, they're ten, uh, they don't know when to shut up. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not that way. Uh, you can ask Alan. I don't talk very much. I know that. I was joking about you being kid to my wife. Just when she gets uh, mad. <laughs> well, now, and you're talking about Brian Pins while ago. Uh, my wife told me before we married back down at Wynn. I'm glad I didn't know what she said. She, she, she used to throw Brian Pins at people. So. <laughs> I'm going to be uh, nice to Susie Q and say, yes, ma'am. Well, yes, uh, ma'am, Susie. Uh, Dennis, I gave all my orange skillets away, so what I've got now is not very heavy. Oh, you gave your orange skillets away? Yeah, they were, my hands, uh, I just couldn't handle them. They're too heavy for my hands, so I got something lighter now, so if I, if I, Get better than Dallin. It won't hurt as bad as that orange skillet did. Hey, Dennis, I, 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 I praise God. Oh, hey, done. Today I didn't know if I was going to do the program or not. 
I feel I'm feeling better right now than I have all day long. Yeah. And and uh, uh, last night I I debated on the program, but me and Lynn decided we could not do it last night. But I felt better today, and uh, I just I just wanted to come on here tonight and play some great gospel music and. I feel a lot better right now. Hope it stays that way. But uh, I, I enjoy this. And I'm sure glad you called in tonight. Well, you was on my mind. Uh, I just listened to you. Uh, Dante called him. I said, and then here I say, well, God, he's doing a program. He said, I said, call him and pray. So that's what it is. So we're, we're going to pray, Adam. We're going to pray for you. Uh, well, wait a minute now. Uh, I want you to have prayer, too. And I want you to pray for Chuck Bryan, too. He's having some kind of shoulder surgery this coming Monday. And he's going to be out of commission for a while. We're going to help him on some things, take up some slack. Not much, of it, just our program mostly. But pray for Chuck. And let's pray yeah, I talked to Chuck him. the other day. I didn't know. He said he was going to have surgery, but I didn't know it was coming up this soon. And our son-in-law fell out of a tree house, and he's out of commission. I mean, he, uh, he's still working, but he's not able to do anything. He's just more or less there, and that's about it. But he has to wear a brace for three months, a back brace. Uh, what did he do, deer hunting? Yeah, he was up in the tree house, and he fell off the sleep and fell out of the tree house. How many feet did he fall? Uh, quite a few feet. You know how big, uh, how, uh, how much uh, those tree houses are off the ground. He yeah, had, when you go, when you when you climb a, up in a tree and you build one of them, it could be real high. He ha he had a long fall to get to the ground. And Dennis, so tell him about he did. tell him about your program too, right fast. Then have prayer. Yeah, Hearts on Nashville Music Group. We come on Monday night from seven to around seven fifty five or eight. We don't we we get off at eight, no later where everybody can go over and watch your show because I push you hard on mine and God's blessing my show. We are every every Monday night we come on seven to eight. We feature a lot of artists. We've got one coming on this Monday. And uh we play a lot of southern and country gospel music just like you do, but we're here to uplift the name of Jesus. That's what we need to be doing, because I want, when I enter, when I see Jesus, here's what I want him to say, enter in, thy servant, you've been faithful over a few things, and I'll make you rule over many. So, that's what we're doing. So, if you're out there on Monday night, 7 to 8, before Alan comes on, get off of me and go right over to Adam and still listen to some more good gospel music. So, it's hard some natural music group on the gospel road. You can find us on Facebook or, or Instagram, YouTube, or We've got a website also www.heartsongnashvillemusicgroup.org if anybody wants to get in touch with us. And Dennis, I'm going to say this, then I want you to have that prayer. Uh, I said this at the beginning of a program, maybe a few more listening. We play the best music in the world. It's God's music. We play the very best. And there's nobody else on Facebook that plays any better. And I say that, say this, and I say it bravely, I say it boldly. Because it's God's music. And then it's the reason we play the best, if they play any better, Facebook will mute them. So they can't yeah, they play. They, yours don't they? So they can't play no better. Because if they did, Facebook mute them. Because O. Allen has got these people's songs. And if you play them, Facebook knocks them off. Uh, so so we, I say that bravely, that me and you and your program, we play as good as gospel music as anybody on the system. Yes, sir. And that's not bragging. That's saying the facts, the truth, and the facts. There's none out there, no better, no more. A lot of time I'll feature hearts on that's your music group to artists and I have some of the best artists like to out there too. Okay. 
Okay. We don't, we, we, don't, we don't accept, Alan, we don't accept junk. If you're not uh, got a ministry and you're not out there to see so saved, people blessed and delivered, hearts on that Jimmy group don't want you part of us. But if you believe in all of that, still believe. And so is being saved, people blessed and delivered and healed. That, uh, that's what we're out to do. Amen. You ready to lead us in prayer? Yes, sir. Are you ready? I'm old. You ready, buddy? Anytime you are. Father, we come to you tonight, Lord. We thank you for all the blessings. God, I know a lot of times we come to you and ask you for a lot. But a few times we come to you and just say thank you, Lord, for what you've done already. God, what you've done for us, what you've done for the nation. God, the devil trying to take over our nation. But we ask tonight, Lord, that all Christians, that's really born-again Christians, will stand up and vote. Just like in Georgia right now, Father, we we need that Senate seat. We've got two Republicans down there. If we lose them to Senate seat, God, we're going to be in trouble for good. So God just touched down there in Georgia. Trump made a live, uh, live thing down there today. And God, we ask you for everything. These COVID going around. We, we know it's real, Lord, but we've got to have the faith. We've got to step out of faith and say, God, take care of us. Take care of us, Lord. That's what I've had to do. And I know Brother Larry and Sister Linda have done the same thing. Because I've seen COVID in the face, shook hands over the neck. And God, you've looked over me. Our church, Solid Rock Gospel Church. In a year now, going on a year, Lord, we haven't closed down a day. And nobody's got sick. Nobody's got ill. Nobody got the virus. And God, we thank you for all of that. But God, now we are going to ask you for Brother Allen, Lord. He, He's out here doing your work, and I know he might be up in age, but God, he can still bless him. He loves this radio. He loves playing some of the best gospel music around today. And God, the only way he's going to do is let him feel better. That's the vocal cords, God, that he might stretch or whatever you need to do, and he feels bad. You touch his nerves, you touch his blood vessels, whatever. God calls greater sin him than in the world. And we will rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. Those that had to repair us online for the virus, God, you touch them. They're in a hospital. God, God, you know, they're sick. God, no. you touch them. If we're doing your will, God, we need them back out here in the field. And God, thank you for Adam Press promotion and Linda for doing what they do. They don't have to. And God, we don't have to either. But we're doing it to show the world that we're not. But standing down for Jesus, we're standing up. And God, we praise our flag, and you bless the Americans. Bless the soldiers in the United States of America. And God, you be with us as we go through life. In Jesus' we name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Dennis. Appreciate you calling us tonight. And we're going to get off here and listen to some songs. And All right, buddy. Why don't you get one back up with you again? Well, so, you're playing the good. Just you can leave me all. Just play all the rest of it. What did he say, Linda? I said you can leave me all for that, Liz. Just play the rest of it. Well, I ain't gonna say nothing about that. Hey, I'm gonna, we go, we're gonna say goodbye, Linda. Dennis, we love you and appreciate it. I love you, buddy. Love y'all. Okay, let's take a listen to this next song. Bye, right, bye, buddy. Bye, bye. Well, I think we got Murray Burke coming up now. Let's take a listen to Murray.
of another son. John 14, verse 2 and 3, says of a place prepared for me. I have read this, the Bible says this, I have hope eternally. I believe Jesus Christ paid the price of eternal life. This gift of love came born of a virgin. He walked this earth, a perfect person, became despised, was cursed, denied. God's only son died brutalized. Jesus gave love when he arose from the grave. My soul hell bound gone. Blind a sin, I found vision when I prayed to God. Under conviction, placed my faith by grace was saved. I have hope eternally. God's only son died bread alive. Jesus gave hope when he arose from the grave for you and I. John 14, verse 2 and 3 says of a place prepared for me. I have read this, the Bible says this. I have hope because I be. Shake hands with a poor boy who owns everything. I'm depending on Jesus for my home in the sky. Already I'm heading for the sweet by and by. I've been adopted at place with a key. For the poor boy who owns everything, You're listening to the very best of Southern Gospel music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. 
We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube, Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., Come and join with us. And folks, we're glad to be here tonight, and we've had a good time playing gospel music. Just like the announcer says, it does take regular support to keep a program like this going. And you might not really uh, believe it. One person one time made a statement and said, well, Facebook's free. Yes, Facebook is free, you know, but they, 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 they don't have the equipment that it takes to put on a program like this. And we like to say thanks to those that do help us keep this program alive and keep gospel music alive. And, but the reg there's regular monthly bills doing stuff like this. Lots of equipment in this. You'll, we being seen tonight on three cameras. We use three computers, soundboard, special phone when somebody calls in. And uh, we got this mic here. Got two mics. And, folks, it, 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 it does get expensive, too. Even in the equipment, something tires up, we got to get it fixed or get by the next night. We had a monitor. Uh, what, Linda? We had a monitor that went out last week, and I had to go buy a new monitor, and I had to buy. What? You pay royalties every month. Yeah, pay royalties. I had to buy something else. Uh, I can't remember now. Something what about it was. a mouse, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, but it, the mouse still's not working right. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm probably going to have to go buy another mouse. Uh, we could just set a, a, a mouse trap in the kitchen, and and when it catches a mouse, then we can bring it in here and use it. Right, Alan? <laughs> and and we are on TV every night, too, and... Uh, I'm sitting here watching the monitor on the TV program right now, which you will bring that up in probably about an hour or so. It takes us a while to, to get all this work done, folks. Hey, uh, there's a lot of work doing a program like this. We got stuff to upload, download, and TV things, and a lot of things that goes on around here that you wouldn't just believe unless you were just right here watching. And uh, songs in here to play, songs to download, but we we tickle to get to do it. And but brother, it, there's a lot of work in doing this stuff, and we we pr we'll pray, praise God for getting to do it. And just keep helping us out. If you make a donation, if you had never done that before, consider making a donation to keep this program alive and keep get going. And keep God's work on the air. And Lady Presley, you got anything else to say? Yeah, well, uh, thanks everyone for joining in tonight. And you know what, Alan? What? Somebody said an a anniversary today. Who? David and Brenda. David Bouts? Yeah. So I we're going to. been married 100 years. So we're going to play him a song. Yeah, okay. Uh, David, have you got the boss? Around handy, she. Did, uh, did you buy her a dozen roses? For and did Linda wants to know? Did you buy Brenda a dozen roses? And hey, Brenda, are you gonna cook David some homemade biscuits and a bowl of gravy and some hot coffee and a big old piece of ham and serve it to him in no. bed? Huh? Oh, okay. 
Okay. Well, that's breakfast. The day's almost over. She should have fixed him a, a steak uh, dinner tonight. Well, she had to make up the difference, Linda. Yeah. She'd do that in the morning, too. But David and Brenda, here's a special song for you. And my good friend, Kelvin Spencer, is going to sing it for you. David and Brenda Baps. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, God bless you. Happy anniversary to you. We come here together in one mind and one accord to praise the name of Jesus, the one that we adore. It's 
Christmas. It's Christmas. There's a choir out in the night singing songs by candlelight. It's Christmas. With every face of glow, the young and old both know it's Christmas all over.
Oh! 